Welcome back to Cinema Daily US. Today I will be talking to you about Kinds of Kindness, presented in competition at the 77th Cannes Film Festival. Let me start off by saying that the good old Yorgos Lantimos is back. The motion picture kicks off with the 80s song by the Eurythmics, Sweet Dreams. But the worlds that inhabit Lantimos's latest work aren't sweet at all. On the contrary, this film is beyond what a black comedy could be. It's a sardonic nightmare. The Greek filmmaker, with the complicity of his screenwriter, let me see if I can pronounce it properly, Ephthemis Philippo, returns to the icy and enigmatic atmospheres of those works that used dystopian situations as allegorical tools to investigate on humanity. So I'm talking about uh, films such as Dogtooth, The Lobster, The Killing of a Sacred Deer, where absurdity rules to unveil the dark complexities of human beings. Kinds of Kindness is an anthology that unrolls through a triptych where three apparently different stories disfigure different types of kindness into acts of oppression and death. So let's go through these three stories. The first story, The Death of RMF, is about a man who would like to gain control of his life, but ends up realizing he is incapable of being free. The second story, RMF is Flying, is about a um, policeman whose missing wife returns home after a shipwreck and, and he starts testing her with extreme requests because he is convinced she is an imposter. The third story, RMF Eats a Sandwich, shows a woman who is part of a cult uh, which, um, for which she has left her husband and daughter with the intent of looking for a person, of capable, um, a person who is capable of resurrecting the dead. The interesting thing uh, about these apparently separate episodes is that the cast is the same, with all its members playing different roles, except for non-actor Yorgos Stefanakos, who plays the character that gives the title to each story, RMF. And this conveys the feeling that there is some sort of linear timeline that connects the three distinct tales. Speaking about performances, Jesse Plemons is the real revelation of the film as he fully expresses his versatility. There are also long-time collaborators of Lanthimos, such as the formidable Emma Stone and Willem Dafoe. Also brilliant are um, uh, Margaret Qualey, Hong Chow, Mahmoud Aithi, Hunter Schaefer, and of course, uh, Joe Alwyn. Um, Talking about uh, the visual trait of the film, Kinds of Kindness was filmed in New Orleans and the stories are set in a nameless and probably soulless town. In fact, we get swept in the afflicted suburbs and homes that have a glacial interior design. And the general look of the film takes a step back from the visual grandeur of poor things to focus with sobriety um, on stories and topics it explores. Nevertheless, there's a great care in the choice of decorative elements um, that sort of gives an extra whimsical touch to the entire film. For instance, we have a tennis racket broken by John McEnroy or some artwork within the various households and even the cars um, will grasp your attention from a blue BMW to uh, a purple Dodge Challenger. Um, another trait that uh, is, uh, is very engaging of the film is uh, the score. For the music, Lantimos renews his collaboration with uh, Jersk and Fendrix, who took care of the music score of Poor Things. Uh, the composer comes up with the right uncanny atmosphere to bring the themes of kinds of kindness to their peak. So what Lantimos uh, tries to do throughout, and I believe he actually succeeds in doing so, is he shatters our comfort zone and uses the camera to lead us to the edge of reality to confront 
our fears, our obsessions, and above all, our need for validation and acceptance. He effectively examines how far people will go to feel a sense of belonging. And therefore, we witness a very strong critique towards dogmas, mental manipulation, and the patriarchy. As regards the patriarchy, I find uh, that Lanthimos was more authentic in confronting the topic in this, uh, in this film and uh, criticizing it, of course, than what he did in Poor Things, where behind a sort of pandering feminism, there was pure male voyeurism and having Emma Stone perform the entire Kama Sutra. Here, there is sex and it makes sense. Um, it shows the dynamics of manipulation between the characters uh, and basically we see it as a weapon of control. And there isn't just sex, there's also this search of love which is central to the film as it becomes an exercise in possession with some lives succumbing to a higher authority. As a matter of fact, as someone who is fond of phenomenology, I found uh, plenty of Jean-Paul Sartre's uh, existentialism in this film in terms of how we act in bad faith when we run away from our freedom, convincing ourselves we have no choice and that our decisions are somehow made for us. So it's all about the fluctuation of free will that we're witnessing with this film. We see how Lantimos dissects the human condition. It's exploring its limits and weaknesses. And to do so, circumstances are taken to absurd heights that will leave no one indifferent. People will probably be scratching their heads coming out of the cinema, but in a good way. You see, kinds of kindness may shock, annoy. Some might even feel the director is mocking us. Even so, humour is the best way to dismantle the madness that determines our apparently sensible existences. And as Lanthimos uh, has said himself, you miss a very big aspect of the human experience if you take yourself too seriously, and I couldn't agree more. Therefore, the film has definitely gained my stamp of approval and a full A. Please feel free to share your thoughts on kinds of kindness in our comment section. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on the film. This is Chiara Spagnoli Gabardi for Cinema Daily US. Ciao.